plant hormone. And it's called Zetin. Z E A Tin. So I'd imagine people taking plant physiology have heard of this, but it looked cool because it's just like an amino um, nucleic acid here, adenine. So what we got here, we draw all the ends first. Another ring over here, so here's in, in. Adenine is a six and a five. So what we get is one triangle in between there. Got another triangle up top. So we got two, four, a triangle here, triangle here. Five member ring here gives us two already don't double draw like I did before that's the nucleic acid ring right there but what we see is that it coming up from here is another end so I'm gonna draw it in there since we're saving space here so there's end going off to a diamond to a diamond Diamond to a diamond. And this is double bound to a diamond, so I'm gonna, I guess I'm gonna leave it that way. So we gotta work a way to show the stereochemistry of this thing. So what you end up with here is a methyl, another diamond here. It's just gonna be an alcohol. So that's it. I mean, we drew it, kids. Now, connecting the dots, we can use our technique of whatever we want to do. Whatever's easy, not threatening, let's do it. Start with oxygen's usually the best. We see there's an alcohol group on this up here. Any other O's? That's the only O in the whole molecule. So let's at least finish it off. Some alcohol, so there's an OL in the middle. Color it in. When I'm looking at that carbon there, I'm like, well, let's finish that off. 1H, 2H. There's a methyl on the side, so we can finish that off. Double bond, but that's all taken accounted for. So here's H, H. See, now it's not so threatening, is it? H, color, color that whole side group in. This is going to be the adenine part, the double ring down there, like exactly like the nucleic acid, ATP, a cyclic AMP, adenine. Really popular. So let's take a minute. Seconds and colors here. Carbon. This has two H's. That's one of those there. It's got all carbons bound to it. That's only got three carbon bonds. There's your CH2. Remember, that's where you can twist it. Anywhere in there. Uh, nitrogen's done. That's three bonds, right? Draw the alien. Little green man, right? That works so perfect. So yeah, there's going to be a little bit of a negative attitude out there, huh? Double bond there. So see how the art comes through in this? Let's hone in a little bit more. Get a close up for you. Now, the double bonds. You know, you can draw these in pencil before you get the hang of it, which is what I'd do if I really wanted it to look perfect. But we're experts. What do we see? We see a double bond on this nitrogen. So what's the best way to draw that? Probably this way. Third bond has to go there. Now this carbon-carbon is going to get a double bond. So that's 
Everything else is just straight carbons. This is a double bond. So that's a single. Any other double bonds here? Nitrogen to carbon. This one gets a single to that nitrogen. This gets a double. Which means that can only be a single. So see, it's not like filling in the dots. You fill in the lines. I think that's cool. This is fun to do, too. Now when we go through, we look for the carbons that are all carbon-carbon bound. So we're going to start that technique I was talking about before. So this carbon-carbons get black. If there's nothing but carbon bonds, we'll consider nitrogen the same. Electronegativity, I can't stress it enough. That's what you always want to be thinking, is electronegativity. Oh, no other carbons have that characteristic. These nitrogens in the ring are accounted for here. So when I started doing this, my big beef was just the color. You know, the, they were presenting it so dull to you kids. It's no wonder nobody wanted to learn it. But this is fascinating stuff. This is a plant hormone that causes the tip, root tip, to grow. So when these vacuoles, are, there's a storage of these held up, when that bursts and it moves to the front of the growing plant, this is what's telling it to grow. And the root tip, this is really fascinating stuff. The DNA, everything's involved because you've got to split the cells to make new ones. This is the main hormone that does that, zetin. And it's adenine with this side group, an alcohol side group on there. So let's finish the coloring here. We need nitrogens, right? That gives that the third. Those blues are done. We don't even need to look at them, do we? That nitrogen was done. I should have colored that one in. I should have caught that, huh? So see how these are different nitrogens. These are all bound to electronegative carbons, but that nitrogen's got an H on it. So it's just a little hydro hydrogen on there, a little proton hanging on. So we're looking around. What do we see? We're on the hunt. Any of you carbons not got a hydrogen? There's one. This one over here. So see the symmetry of this molecule now. You got like H's out here. H is in there. Nothing water loving out here, is there? Huh? Got these side groups with an alcohol up there. Double bond, too. I like that. We should probably draw something in there. Or green. Because it's electrons, is what we're seeing in there. The green triangle, is that confusing? Hmm. Because that's that pi bond, remember? It should probably be on both sides if we're really drawing it, right? Okay, we got to hurry. We're running out of tape. I wanted to color these different. Finish the nitrogen. Brown. If you got these here, we'll color those brown. See, brown will work. We should be doing that with the sugars because cellulose. Uh, that finishes it. Those guys both have one hydrogen on there. Got to pick a different color for a methyl. So, what kind of carbons do you have? You got carbon that's just bound to carbon. Carbon's bound with nitrogen, essentially the same thing, because electronegativity. With one H, two H's, three H's. So they'll want you to know the different kinds of carbons. Methyl. Know your methyl groups. Remember the only difference on the epinephrine nor epinephrine was it was methylated on a nitrogen. So zetin here, this is one of the main plant hormones.